Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess, and today I wanted to go through some of the templates that Microsoft provides you for Microsoft Teams. So if we go here on Power Apps, and if you need to add it in your apps, you can do that and pin Power Apps to your left side navigation. But if you go into your app templates, I want to go over this one called Boards. I really like the way this one looks, and I think it's great for communication in a team. So if you can click on Boards, you can get into it, you can download it. And you can also get the documentation on how to install um, and, and how to upload it to your environment. And so because it's Power Apps for Teams, that means it uses uh, data source as Dataverse for Teams. So these are their own specific environments separate from your production environments. These become their own environments in the Power Platform Admin Center. So I created a new team right here called Boards Test, and I wanted to create a, a new Power App environment for it. So if you don't have Power Apps on your left side navigation in Teams, what you want to do is you want to go to Apps, and probably somewhere down in here you can find Power Apps. So here it is built by Microsoft and you want to open Power Apps and add it to your left side navigation in Teams. And once you do that, you can then pin Power Apps to the left side navigation here. So once you have Power Apps on your left side navigation, what you're going to do is you're going to be on home. And you may not see all these recent apps in here. Now I created one as a test, a few as a test. What you're going to want to do is go to new app. And then you're going to select the Teams environment that you're going to install this app on. And we're going to do it on Boards Test because this is the new app I want to test out from Microsoft. They gave us a template. Maybe I'll make a video on each one and we'll go through each of the Dataverse for Teams apps that Microsoft provides us. But for the first time, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new environment in your team. So I'm going to choose Boards Test, and I'm going to click Create. So it's going to create a new environment in my Power Platform Admin Center. So let's look up the documentation. So I'm going to go to Power Apps again, Home, and I'm going to check out this um, Boards app here. So you notice these are templates. I just want to look at the documentation. So we'll go to the documentation, and it does come with an installation guide, but I'm going to run through that with you. So we'll look at the use board sample app template. So we can see that boards is a way to like share general ideas and then you can pin things that are attached with it. So we have like a book club, game club, hiking. I guess it's just a way to share group ideas. I'm, I'm sure it doesn't have to be, you know, things outside of work. I'm sure there could be things um, that you could do inside of work uh, that you may want to use this app for. But you can add a board, and we have different tiles that we can attach to it. And we can see, oh, here we have new boards create uh, created. We have Learn Power Apps, Microsoft Teams, Power Platform. And we can save oh, different clubs here. So maybe if you want to group clubs together. Um, these are just the general instructions explaining boards to us. Oh, this is pretty neat. So in the clubs for hiking, you have hiking, trails, milestones, rock climbing, parking conditions, and you can pin an item to a board. So I just want to add this to a Microsoft team in my dev environment. And then we're going to set that up. Okay, so I, I gave it about five minutes and let that provision. So now I went to Power Apps, and you notice that I am in the browser here. I'm in the browser because I can make that big for the video. But you can actually go to Teams if you'd rather have it in Teams. You know, you can go into Teams. This is my actual Teams. But this is brow my browser with Microsoft Teams. And I'm going to click on Build. And we notice I have my new team here called Boards Test. It's showing up on the left side navigation. Let's see if I zoom out one. There we go. So Boards Test. This is where I'm going to create my new app. And it's, it's spinning up. And since this is a brand new environment, we can do import solution. If it was not a new environment and you had other Power Apps in here, you would come into the environment. And then I believe you would click on see all. And then you would import um, what you downloaded from the website. So you would import. 
So I'm going to go back to my new environment, boards test, and then I'm going to import. So I'm going to import my solution, browse, and we are in the right place. So I did extract this um, at packages. I downloaded this um, and now I'm on boards. And what I'm going to upload is actually the Dataverse solution. So I'm actually going to upload the Dataverse for the solution in my Power Apps environment. I'm going to click next. All right, so it comes with a few tables. Um, looks like about six Dataverse tables and one Canvas app. And I'm going to click import. So this is using what's called Dataverse for Teams. So it's a separate environment from your other environments, from your default environment or your production environments. This is creating a complete separate environment uh, on Dataverse for Teams. And you can have up to one million rows in this environment and it's all comes with your, your E3, your E1, your E5 licenses, right? You do not need Power Apps Premium for this. You do not need a premium license. So if you have Office 365 with E1, E3, E5 license, you can do this without going premium. So while that's importing, let's take a look at the Power Platform Admin Center. If you're an admin of the Power Platform, so I'm in Microsoft uh, 365 Admin Center. Uh, this is the main landing page. If we click on Show All, and then you go to All Admin Centers, you will find the Power Apps, Power Automate. You can click on either of these. They'll take you to the same place. And this is the Power Platform Admin Center. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Environments here on the left side. And we're gonna notice that I have a few environments. I have four Microsoft Teams environments. If this was a um, not a dev tenant, I would probably have more production environments. But you can see the boards test created its own environment of Microsoft Teams. All right, so it says it's successfully imported. I'm gonna hit refresh. So we can get into that Canvas app. All right, so let's see here. Power apps, um, build. We're gonna go to boards test. Um, it says it does not exist yet. Oh, wait, it'll be here in, ins in installed apps. In the installed apps tab, this is where it exists. One app, six tables. The documentation did say five tables. So I did count right before, but we're gonna click on boards and we're gonna connect to 365 users and Microsoft Teams. All right, so we have a loading screen, the board screen. It's adding us to add a board. It brings in my name. If we look at the, the connections here, um, looks like we have some imported from Excel some things and this is all Microsoft Dataverse and we have a bunch of collections um, that we're also connecting to. All right so let's take a look at the screens more so there's add a board screen and then we have our pictures this is probably what comes from Excel is these different pictures I'm guessing maybe some of the icons are coming from Excel. Board item screens add a board all right, so let's go ahead and hit play. Let's go to the board screen and hit play. Let's check out the settings. All right, so we have some different categories. So the settings, let's add some categories. Let's add, um, let's try certifications. Let's add something work related. Um, uh, communication. And let's add one more, let's see. A board category. After, let's do let's do after work. We'll do one that's not really work related. So we have certifications, communication, and after work. And we're going to hit save. All right. So we have three board categories. I'll just hit back. And I'm going to add a board. And the title will be. So this is once again the the categories. Let's do certifications. Um, tell us about the certifications you think are useful. That's the description. Um, looks like we have different options for the board color covers. We can add our own image or we can add an icon. Oh, there's different icons. Let's do an image. Let's do this one right here and we'll hit save. All right, we have one board. Let's, let's create uh, the other two. So the other ones were communication and I guess maybe my categories don't really match maybe um, 
public speaking. Um, give tips for public speaking. If I could spell. I can't spell. Let me, good thing I have spell checks. But public speaking. Um, I don't really like any of these images. Let's do an icon. I just want to check it out. Let's see if we can... Let's do the light bulb. Okay, just to see what it looks like when we have a icon. Okay, it's a big icon like that. We'll add one more and our category was after work um, bars. Actually, let's do uh, restaurants and bars. You know, uh, let us know where you like to eat and drink. Let's just add some stuff in there and uh, we don't really have a picture. I'm not going to add my own picture. We'll just do the balloons, okay? We'll do the balloons. All right, so we now have a few different boards that are attached to our team. We have re after work, restaurants and bars. Maybe we'll add another one. Let's do another after work. So another after work. Um, Let's, let's, because we already have a hiking picture, uh, tell us where you like to hike. All right, and then we have that hiking picture. I just knew that was there, so. All right, so when we're editing this, you notice that maybe after work is at the top, communication, certifications. I believe we can change the sort order right here. So I can push communication, maybe certification should be at the top, after work is at the bottom. I hit apply, we can then change the order. Um, that's that's really neat. I love the way Microsoft does it. This looks beautiful, right? Doesn't that look beautiful? Um, you can hide different um, boards if you'd like. You can apply, I believe this is saving it to a variable. So you're saving this actually to the, the app in a variable. Um, so let's go ahead and click on one. Let's do uh, certifications. So you can click on the board and then you can add to the board, right? So when we add to the board, we can add a website. Let me just get a website. So we have a, a couple links here to a couple different um, exams. You know, you could do Power Platform App Maker. We could take this link and let's go back to our Power App. Put this link in here, Power Apps um, Maker exam. And we could put in more information. And then what's really neat is, um, we could probably add to this if we wanted to, like we could, who knows what we could do customization wise, right? So now we have a link to it. Maybe we want to add to the board. We want to add a file. We could add our own files if we had information about it. You know, we could store this in uh, SharePoint, put the file there, a conversation, Teams channel, uh, a Teams team, Microsoft. Teams team, even you were calling it a Teams team. That's a little ridiculous. That's that's funny, a Teams team. Oh, Microsoft. Okay, sorry. Tangent there. But we could have a file there. If we had a if we had a file in here, we could add it. We could then add the file to the board also. And we would have a couple different uh, you know options that we have in that uh, certification category. We can edit the files. I don't really see how the pin comes into play. Oh, so this is gonna load the link right away. That's that's very nice. Um, it's gonna load the link right away. Website teams, they have different categories. Files, we, we notice we can search on files. We can search also, we can find an item. So all of this is really neat. So once we have everything how we like it, and, now this was just me acting as an admin. People were gonna be able to do this in the Teams. But once we have everything ready, what we wanna do is we wanna publish this. And I've already published it once before, but I'm just gonna walk through this with you. What you wanna do is you wanna publish and say next. So when you publish, you wanna publish it to a certain uh, channel. So that's what I did here. You can see I've already published it once. Um, but you're going to want to hit the plus icon and then publish it to a certain channel in your team. And then you would just hit save and close. And so since I already did it once, it's already there. And when you go to the team now, it says there's 
maybe no changes. When I go to my team in my general channel, you'll notice I now have boards there. It has a little loading screen, it loads up. We have our boards. You notice that the, the pin is now working. There is two here, two items pinned under certifications. So we'd have the Power Apps Maker exam link and we have the fake file that I put in there. Um, we have our different filters. I really think this is huge. I'm definitely gonna put this in my um, production environment at my work. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, this is using uh, Power Apps for Teams, Dataverse for Teams, all with the free license model. I totally recommend you to do this uh, for your Microsoft Teams. Uh, my name is Andrew Hess. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.